lots of dung everywhere. Oh, this is also interesting. Very interesting, actually. Look at on the ground here. Let's have a bit of a closer look at that. It's actually, let's start with the, with the hippo quickly. Sorry, I know we're looking at different things here, but it's just nice. There's some oxpeckers sitting on the hippo. Character we've come to know well, we refer to him generally as Humgo. It shows you that oxpeckers also clean them. Obviously, hippos walk around at night to graze or to feed. And just like other big animals, they'll pick up a whole lot of excess parasites, especially ticks, while they're doing so. so oxpeckers come and clean them a bit, but what's also interesting is you also find that uh, terrapins, freshwater turtles, if you want to call it that, terrapins also clean them. Under the water they'll go up and eat the ticks off them. So they've got two little helpers to get themselves clean. Then from the hippo I'm sure we'll see more of him just now. I'm going to walk around just now to pick up a few bits and pieces of dung so he'll probably yawn and splash around a bit then. But very interesting if you look at that on the ground there. Not often that you get to see that lying around the edge of the water. Most of the fish in this water, there would be some tilapia. Oh, he's giving us a yawn. Quickly up. Oh, quick look at that. Nice one, Herman. Click on the draw there. Likes the attention. <laughs> he's watching. He might give us another yawn. We'll come back to that on the ground just now. But mostly the fish in here would be catfish. This is a quite a big catfish, I believe it's probably about two feet long or so. It most likely would have been caught by I mean a variety of things, but very likely a fish eagle. I'm just gonna go have a let's have a look at that catfish again. Let me just keep a sort of one of your eyes on that hippo, he might give us another yawn just now. It's a bit of a display. that a bit more up close. This has been quite a large catfish. There's the spinal cord. Part of it is broken off, so it would actually have been probably about that long to the tail. And looking at the size of the head, to give you a perspective, I would guess that this is probably about almost three feet long. I wouldn't say much less than a meter. So quite a, a large piece of food for whatever caught it. Most likely a fish eagle, maybe, maybe a stalk of some sort, but I would say most likely a fish eagle. You can see it's been eaten out, the whole shell, all the food, all the meat has been taken. It's just the shell and the spinal column that's left. Give you a bit more of a different perspective. Here you can see the eyes, and they have these long, almost like tentacles, that uh, grow at the front of the mouth. And that's how they can feel around when they look for food, they can feel where they are and, and pick it up. Typically these guys are, are more bottom feeders, so they actually eat a lot of the deader things and the, and the debris and things on the, on the bottom part of the water but obviously this one's not alive anymore all right well next thing I want to do is we'll keep an eye on Humgo there he goes again Nice big yawn there for us. I'm just going to collect one or two.